All right, so you're either going to be using your three food tins um, with tin snips, or you're going to be using um, drinks cans or soda cans, as Americans say, with just a simple pair of scissors. I'm going to show you, the instructions will be the same. Um, I'm going to show you on the soda cans because it's easier to cut, um, but it'll be exactly the same if you're going to use the tin snip version. I'll show you at the end what that one will look like too. So you start with your first tin and you're going to pierce it with your scissors and then cut the top off your can. So it looks like this. Now you might want to, when you've done that, trim it around, give it a smoother edge um, just so it doesn't spike you. And then you're going to cut it into eight bits. You're going to cut all the way down like this. So you're cutting, you cut it into quarters first, you're more likely to have an equal division. And then once you've got your four, you're going to cut those in half again. And then all you have to do is gently fold these petals out and to do so, you push gently on the outside and just pull. There you go. And do that with all eight of the petals. All right, so we've opened the can out and then we're going to cut each one into a daisy shaped petal. So you need a nice rounded end. And now I'll turn it over to the other side. Sort of like that, not too pointy. Just get rid of that little point. And then I'm gonna do that on all of these eight petals. All right, so I've cut my petals. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with all three of my cans, so they're identical. Just follow exactly the same instructions. All right, so I have my three um, sets of daisies. Now you can see, how they're all gonna fit one inside the other, just slightly overlapping so you get that layered look. But now it's time to go and paint these, spray paint the leaves. I'm doing a daisy, so I'm gonna do it white. I'm not gonna paint the middle, I'll do that at the end. Um, let's go and paint this. Obviously do this outside in a well-ventilated space. I'm doing mine in a box so we can catch all the extra spray. In. Keep everything safe and contained. Okay, so I've got my three now white um, cans. I sprayed the one side. Now, um, you're going to position them so that they don't sit on top of each other, so that all the petals are overlapping. And they should just press nicely. Now, at this stage, you can glue them to each other. I'm going to drill a hole through because um, that then gives me a wire on the other side that I can use to attach it to my fence or whatever I want to attach it to. So when you've positioned them, make sure the, all the petals are overlapping and I'm gonna drill two holes here and put some wire through and attach that. Okay, I forgot to say, if you don't have a drill, you, you'll probably be able to use a sharp nail and a hammer and tap it through to make a hole or make a couple of holes because um, drinks cans are quite soft. If you're using food cans, however, you will definitely need to drill. All right, so I'm gonna thread some wire through. and then twist that round at the back and now I'm going to paint the center yellow and then leave that to dry so you probably need a couple of coats of this because you want to paint over the wire as well to make that invisible well sort of invisible leave that to dry do a second coat and then it would just need a little spray of um, clear varnish if you're going to have it outside like I am on my garden fence so here we have the finished daisy and this is just been made with scissors and it did I did use a drill for the middle now if you do the same one as I have here this is with food cans 
and using tin snips but you can see they look very very similar one's just slightly bigger excellent well done